Hi everyone, my name is Brad, and this is the Picanduino. The Picanduino is a dual microcontroller development platform that is compatible with both Arduino and Amicus 18. It has an inbuilt programmer, seven LEDs, a regulator, two reset buttons, and it gives you 44 input output pins for you to connect up to all sorts of different electronic devices, some of which you can see here. The Picanduino was created for two main reasons. Firstly, it's great for beginners. No experience is required. You can plug it straight into a USB port, open up some code, and send it to the device. Since it has inbuilt LEDs, we can have the Picanduino doing something straight away. In this case, blinking two LEDs. The Picanduino is also great for experienced programmers because it gives you a chance to learn how to program for a different microcontroller in a different language, all without unplugging the device. Why not try porting your Arduino code over to Amicus 18 or vice versa? So let's try a simple example. We'll blink a couple of LEDs, one with the Arduino software for the AppMega and one with the Amicus 18 software for the PIC chip. First thing we want to do is flick this switch so we can program the AppMega chip. Once in your Ardu Arduino software, open up the Blink example and upload it to the AppMega chip. We now have a blue blinking LED. Open up the Amicus IDE, flick the switch so we can program the PIC microcontroller and again open up the blink example. Compile and program to send it to the device. And now we have a red blinking LED which is actually controlled by the PIC microcontroller. Here the Picanduino is driving two LCD displays. I've already programmed the PIC microcontroller to say hello Amicus 18 and you can see the code here on this screen. I've got the Arduino code here, so I will send that to the Atmega microcontroller and it should say, hello Arduino. Both screens are happily running simultaneously. Here it is showing you the pulse width modulation capabilities of the Picanduino. You can use the onboard LEDs or connect up your own to some of the port pins. Here the AppMega chip of the Picanduino is sending serial data through to the computer. I also have the PIC chip running some similar code. To have a look at what it's doing, we just need to flick the switch to connect the PIC chip to the USB port. We can then flick back and forth between the PIC and AppMega without interrupting their code. We can even reset one while the other still runs perfectly fine. I'll reset the PIC chip it starts again from zero. If we go back to the AppMega, it's still counting happily away, and we can reset that. And finally, I just wanted to show you how much the Picanduino can do at once. Here I'm using a Super Nintendo control pad with an RGB matrix to play this simple little game. That's not quite finished yet. All the while, it's updating information on this text LCD screen. It's also running a pulse width modulation program and drawing some graphics on this graphic LCD. All the while, I've got an accelerometer plugged in. And as if you have a look on the screen, it's sending the accelerometer data through to the uh, serial bus of the computer. Make a pledge to get a Picanduino to call your very own. And thanks for watching.